In this video, we're going to look at the Royal Navy recruit test and go through the numeracy test with fully worked solutions. This is a very difficult test with brutal time limits. So if you don't do a lot of preparation, you're likely to fail. And this video will get you started showing you the fundamentals. So let's start with question E1, which is doing 346 from 4,328. And this question is just written to be horrible, um, deliberately making this as difficult as it could be. So I've written it out in step by step, so it's easy to follow. So we're doing eight minus six, and that's giving us this two here. So eight minus six is of course two. Then we're looking at this two minus four. And well, that's gonna give a negative number, that's no good. So what we do is we look at this three and we borrow a 10 from it. So this three becomes two and we put a little one up here and that one represents 10. So the three has become a two. We put a one here and instead of having a two, we have a 12. And suddenly we've got enough to subtract the four from. So we're doing 12 minus four. 12 minus four is eight. Then we're looking at this two minus three. Well, again, we have the same problem. We're kind of one short. So we turn this four into a three. So we're borrowing a 10 from that. And then this one comes here. So this four has become a three and we've got a nice 10 here. And so we've now got 12 minus three, which is nine. And then lastly, you've got three minus zero. Well, that's obviously just three. And when you put all that together, you get 3,982. And that is the right answer. Now we're on to fractions, 0 0.25 as a fraction. You should probably, if you're literate, uh, numerate, you should know this instantly. This is just a quarter. You know, you're taking one and you're dividing it into four bits and that gives you 0 0.25 in decimal. So the next question, you're looking at three significant figures. So let's put up a little thing here, All right? This is where we're looking, one significant figure, two significant figures, three significant figures. So we want an answer with that many numbers in it. So we look at this eight, so I throw all this stuff out. The eight, of course, rounds up. So that is rounded up. Well, if that's rounded up, that'll push that one up. And then this 49.99, 49.9, sorry, rounded up will give us 50. The answer must have three significant figures, one, two, three, so we get 50.0. That point zero is important. If you get rid of it, it's only two. So you have to have one, two, three to get the right answer. Now, for the first of the real questions, so we're looking at the area of a square with a perimeter of 20 centimeters. So a square has four sides, one, two, three, four, and the perimeter is you add up all of the lengths around the edge of the square. And well, so obviously you're doing 20 divided by four, which gives you this five. See, five plus five plus five plus five is the perimeter, which is 20. Now we use the formula to find the area. So the area is the length squared. So the length here is five, all of them are the same because it's a square. So five squared is five times five, which gives the answer, which is 25. Now on to question two, this is a question you would wish you have a calculator, but sad news, you don't, and you have to do it quickly. So learn how to do it properly. Various methods, this is the one that I personally do, which is basically timesing everything by everything else, and then adding it up. So we're doing four times eight, which is 32, then doing four times 20, which is 80. Now we're moving on to this, this four is a 40. All right, so we're doing 40 times eight, which is 320. And then 40 times 20, which is 800. And if you add all of these up, 32 plus 80 plus 320 plus 800, you'll get 1,232, which is the correct answer. On to question three, 60% of 50. So six divided by 10 is 60%. That's, you know, six out. If you get 60% in the test out of 10, you means you get six out of 10. So we write this as six divided by 10. And then we're multiplying this by 50. Of is basically just times. So we're doing 6 times 50, which is 300. And we've got the divide by 10. So now we've got 300 divided by 10, which is 30. And that's the answer. Now into question 4, for people who are hor horrified by the idea of algebra, if you can't do this, you're in trouble. It's fabulously simple. The only thing you need to know is when there's a y, replace it with a number. And when it's the x, replace it with a number. 
So you see that y is 70, so you replace the y with a 70, you keep the minus, and then you replace the x with a 15. So you get 70 minus 15. And if you do that with your mental math skills, that's of course 55, which is the correct answer. On to question five, fabulously simple um, fractions work. That should be a gift of a question if it was to come up. So you're doing one times one, two times five. So with the multiplications, you're just doing top times top, bottom times bottom. So one times one is one, two times five is 10. So you get one tenth. Question six, again, very simple. If this is difficult, you really need to revise your angles. So a crude sketch of a clock. So we're going from three o'clock right across to nine o'clock. And you should just know intrinsically that that is obviously it has to be 180 degrees. So you're going there to there is 90, and then you've got another 90 there. It's obviously a 180 degree turn. Question seven is three decimal places. So you've got the 44, they're not decimal places, so we just ignore those. So we're looking only at numbers after the decimal. So you've got one, two, three of them. So you're rounding this, you've got a nine here, so that's going to give you a nine there. One, two, three decimal places rounded. Those are thrown out once you've done the rounding. Nice and simple question. Last question, question eight, 40 times 0 0.7. If you remember the question with 0 0.25 is a quarter, well, 0 0.75 is three times that. So obviously this 0 0.75 is really just three divided by four. So you're doing 40 times three, which is 120, and then you've got the divide by four, 120 divided by four is 30. Nice and simple. Hopefully it's been helpful to you. I strongly recommend that you do lots and lots of practice. The recruit test has a very high fail rate. You must put in a lot of effort. And the number one tip I can give you is download an app on your phone and practice, practice, practice. You have to be really fast at your mental maths. Time is brutal. Preparation is key. Best of luck. Thank you for watching.